All right, next up we have special right triangles, and there's a couple of different types here. Uh, one is what we call the 30, 60, 90 triangle, and it just so happens no matter what 30, 60, 90 triangle you're talking about, the side that's opposite the, the uh, 30 degrees is what we call the short side. And whatever that is, in this case we'll call it x, the hypotenuse is always twice that, okay? And whatever is opposite the 60, we call that the medium side here, and it's the longer of the two legs, that is going to be whatever the short side is times the square root of 3. And in class we'll work out why that is, but that's what happens every time you have a 30, 60, 90. So for instance, over here in this triangle, we've got 30 degrees over here, because overall we've got a 30, 60, 90. These have to add to be 180 degrees here. So if I said to you, well, this side is 8 centimeters, let's say, you would say the hypotenuse is always twice that. Well, the hypotenuse is over here, so that would be 16 centimeters. And therefore, the side opposite the 60 would be 8 times the square root of 3 centimeters long. And so that always works when you've got a 30, 60, 9. That's always the relationship between the three sides. The other kind of special right triangle we have is what we call the 45, 45, 90 triangle. And so if it's a 45, 45, 90, we know that the two legs are going to be the same because they're opposite the same angles here. So these sides must be congruent. So x and x, they're the same length. And it just so happens, no matter what, now that we know how to simplify radicals, it works out that the hypotenuse is always whatever one of the legs is times the square root of 2. So for instance, over here, if we this angle is 45, well, this must be 45 to get, because together we have 180 degrees. If I were to say this side is 7 long, 7 units, let's say, uh, the other leg must also be 7, and this hypotenuse must be 7 times the square root of 2. So those would be our side lengths right there. And then finally, the last bit of special right triangles we have is what we call Pythagorean triples. Now, Pythagorean triples, uh, basically, as we know from the Pythagorean theorem, it's, it's whole number sides where a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So for instance, if we had a 3, 4, or 5 triangle, that means 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. There's literally hundreds and thousands and an infinite number of Pythagorean triples out there. And these are some of the ones more commonly here. So 3, 4, 5, where the two legs are 3 and 4, and the hypotenuse is 5. We have 5, 12, 13. So the legs are 5 and 12. The hypotenuse is 13. Uh, we have 7, 24, and 25. If you took 7 squared plus 24 squared, it does equal 25 squared. Once again, the biggest number is hypotenuse. And another one that shows up a lot is 8, 15, and 17, where 17 is the hypotenuse here, but 8 squared plus 15 squared does equal 17 squared. It's just helpful to know those because these triples show up a lot in math, and if, if you know what they are, it helps you, you know, figure out the answer a lot quicker and, and so forth.